Real quick disclaimer before we get started. So this mode isn't public and this mode isn't guaranteed to ever get finished. So uh, consider picking up Receiver 2 to support Bullfire Games who was kind enough to allow me to make this video. And uh, maybe they'll be able to continue development on the mode. But just know that it's not a guarantee. I, I just, it felt really good and I wanted to show it off since I got some access to it. Hope you enjoy. So, uh, but either way, I'm going to be terrible at this because I never beat the base game either. Um, but it feels really good. It's not quite H3 in a bunch of ways, but it's actually a lot more granular in some others. So I'm still figuring out the controls, especially on Index. Um, in order to load a magazine, I think the initial round goes in just fine. But we can't load additional ones until we actually pull down on the thumb pad. And you can kind of see that we have to pre-tension the magazine to put the next round in. So if we don't have that held, we don't load the mag. So they even have this nice granular stuff going on with the magazines right off the bat. There's a little bit of throw in. This feels like H3 when it comes to uh, um, being on realistic, if you've ever played H3 with those uh, settings. But uh, there's no collision between objects, stuff like that. So none of that exists here. Um, oh, we actually had one in the mag or in the chamber. So I've not played receiver in quite some while, but we can even have our mouth mounted flashlight. I like how the index controllers cast shadows. <laughs> Getting used to the movement a little bit still. If I can even get up over here. And this is going to be super buggy. Bear with me. You can see there's like a little bit of a, a force reaction whenever we let go of the gun to watch it jolt forward. And it gets bigger as we pull the slide back further. Just neat little details that come through. There's our first guy. Don't know how we tap mags. That's one thing I'm not sure about. I don't know if that's possible yet. And so he can't see. Another magazine. Empty one. Come on. Grabbing stuff is kind of weird. But we'll get there. The movement is a little bit touchy uh, he's he might be able to see me he's a 361 and the grabbing seems to be a little bit picky too like I don't know why that's grabbing that I have to keep like an open palm I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit this from that far away shooting high there we go the guns feel nice and punchy though. That was one of the complaints I had immediately with Receiver 1 in VR was uh, the guns weren't punchy enough. They did not feel like you were firing a weapon. These are much, much better. So good. It's so good. Keep the mag over there. Perfect. Is there a collision for hand goes through the mag area? Yeah, no, there's no... Um, Nothing like that. There's no colliders happening with any of those things. It's a little bit simpler on that end. <laughs> Didn't check my corner like a typical rookie. So, all right, one in the chamber. Hammer is set. I wonder... Okay, that's right. And you actually have to squeeze. There is a setting off for that. I'm still just trying to figure out the actual um, flow for some of the controls. There he's hiding. The Sig Sauer P226. Uh, now, recently someone asked me, uh, what is Sig anyway, and why is it so sour? Well, as everyone knows, Sig is short for Schweizerische Industriegesellschaft, uh, ish. Uh, they're a Swiss industrial company that started manufacturing Swiss Army rifles in the 1800s, which, unlike their knives, did not fold down into a compact size. By the 1970s, There's also the teleport up ladders, which is kind of jarring. ...producing intricate mechanical components, like watches, but their neutrality laws prevented oh, them on. from exporting firearms. 
to sneak around this restriction, SIG bought Germany's oldest arms manufacturer, a J.P. Sauer and Sohn, and created SIG Sauer. Now, technically, this was a German company, so they could now export as many firearms as they wanted. They combined their pistol technology from the SIG P210 My favorite with ladder. Sauer's technology from the Nazi Model 38H to create the SIG Sauer P220 pistol. Uh, basically an updated 1911 with a double action trigger and a decocking lever. Well, conveniently, this was almost exactly what America requested for their XM9 pistol trials in the 80s. So SIG added a double stack Fair magazine feed. and submitted the new SIG Sauer P226. There we have a smokestack. Yeah, so there's one of our malfunctions. And it's super cool being able to see this up close. And having to be aware of that in VR is just something else. Everything's modeled so well. It's strange that that front's pushing out so far. Hmm. No, oh, never mind. That does that top slide has more to it than I thought. So that's a simple clear. Yeah, I don't think we have safeties. I don't think we do. The jumping still makes me so nervous in this. Another magazine back here. Oh, that was a leap and a half. Um, it's so good. Like, there's just enough physics that it feels alive. It's not perfect. But man, it's so good. It's hard to find VR games that feel good. And now this one feels good. It's so much fun. Being able to, like, strafe out like that, it's so good. You have seen the signs around you. Out of feed. I think I got him? Pretty sure I got him there. No, I did not. I just walked in front of him, though. Cool. Don't think I can bother or need to bother with that. How do the pockets work? So the way the pockets are is you have two um, not item limited uh, quick belt slots, it looks like. So I can put basically as much in these as I want. I can just decide to arrange them however. So I think this is kind of like on, is it onward that's like this? I forget which game is kind of in this area. So it does get a little bit convoluted with the size, especially with the way the bullets kind of hang out. But it works. All right, he's gonna turn in a couple seconds. I really like, this is such a good use of room scale, being able to properly peek out, because that was one of my issues with um, the normal version of uh, receiver, was it was just kind of tough sometimes to, uh, come on, man, to properly aim, and uh, VR actually solves that, funny enough. Yeah, I am just not used to uh, twin stick motion, locomotion, so if I look like I'm flailing while moving, that is most likely why. I don't know if I can make this. I'm going to try to make a jump here. Cool. Perfect. Yeah, we can still hack them. It's kind of weird because we have to use the grips, just like the, uh, the mini game where you have to hold it, but you can also drop your gun. And completely forget where it is. All right, we got one down there. No tapes recently. It must be my other hand that's setting that off. So satisfying. So satisfying. Should you assume they'll be asking to do their own version of Armstringer if they take feedback in any direct form? Well, um, one of the, the, the dev who was working with uh, Wolffire um, actually had a version of Arm Swinger in Climby. So uh, I will I will definitely be uh, 
asking for it. I know that. So good. I'm not sure where to check my tape the progress. The important virtue of a receiver is mental resilience. I don't know how I hit it after the gun jumped. That should not have happened. But I love the little... Like, uh... Jitter that the gun does while we're walking. There's so much action going on with all this. It's so granular. Extremely loud as always. Yeah, so there's... I think that's the biggest thing right now, is just grabbing stuff, but that's... really not a large concern in the over... Come on. Overarching bit here. I think I got him. Yeah, that's what I thought. That is what I thought. We can pick up empty casings? That's weird. Okay, so we have an empty. We can load empty rounds. <laughs> so, that's actually quite amusing. That we can actually load empties if we're not paying attention. Alright, so we only have an empty in there. It does load. So he loads. And we get nothing. Do we have a release? We do. Okay, so we do have a slide release as well. Yeah, I'm just guessing there's no safety on this one. There's our last tape. Come on, man. Ah. Fail to feed. What? I don't know how to tap the mag. There we go. Cooper's third rule of gun safety is to keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on the target. There are many physiological reactions that can cause your hand to uh, tighten involuntarily. If your finger is on the trigger and you're surprised or stumble or tighten the other hand, the gun will fire and make a hole in whatever it's pointed at. This is especially when drawing or holstering. Like takeoffs and landings in aircraft, this is when most accidents occur. If your attention wanders for <laughs> a second and you try to holster your... Okay, so this won't work. Yeah, this apparently is busted. <laughs> it will do that, though. We got the high point. Manifesting in stairwell. This is disgusting. Okay, so we do have safety here. Cool. We have mag. Able to take one more round. I'm curious if there's any penalty for holstering these, because I wonder if you have your finger on the trigger. If it would fire. That'd be cool if it would use the sensor on the trigger. I know that wouldn't work for everything, but... No flashlight yet. You're better to just throw the high point at the enemies. You're not wrong. Oh, we had a... Is that a f double feed? I'm not sure if it was a double feed or not. I think it would have been more difficult to clear if it was a double feed. And accept these feelings and allow them to flow through their mind unobstructed and out the other side, leaving only clarity and resolve. All right, no slide lock here? No manual slide lock. Making sure my mags are full. He's good.
Just like stuff like this where I can, oh wow, I'm failing to load every one of those. Like throw all these bullets on a counter and just kind of deal with the situation. Super cool. Hmm, no, nope, he's somewhere else. Oh, nope. Nope. Yeah, the ladders are definitely goofy right now. For sure. Come on! Ah! Shit it. Can I duck? Will ducking actually help here? It would have. That stinks. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually oh. the negative influence <laughs> Follow Harold. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken Ten. the first step. First off, that scared the crap out of me, 100%. But thank you. Is a threat. I can't even... I need night sights. Well, he has such a small turn radius, too. Can't even see him. I'm afraid if I shine my light, he's gonna turn on me. Okay. Pumpkin. Oh. Don't come in the garage. Call your mommy. She will know uh, what to do. Please, please. Weapon is safe. Go in the garage. You can always just pull the trigger. Yeah, so the threat tapes do not work. Um, from what I saw, that's uh, just not implemented yet because they don't know if they want to do it or not. Um, because honestly, it was disturbing enough doing that on the flat game uh, with the gun turning towards you. Um, not sure how I'd feel about it in VR, but um, still, just out of habit, making the weapon safe. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Do I have any room? No, we already loaded up. That's so many rounds. So we got the uh, full auto boy here. Curious if we even have a switch for that. Okay, we do. Check chamber. Like, there's just the little physics jiggle that we get out of um, the slide going forward is so good. A new set of tapes has been issued to train and prepare you. I think I got his camera. Nope, I didn't. What? <laughs> he stared at me that whole time. I thought he had nothing in him. Oh, goodness. All right. Let me see if I can get this debug menu up and running. Mag. That's a lot of bullets. <laughs> Wonderful. That's oddly satisfying. Nice. Cool. So, I think it was... There we go. Okay, so this is the inspect mode he was talking about. You can actually see everything that's going on behind the scenes with this. It's super cool. They even have the recoil springs, like the extractors in there. This is fantastic. So, like, we get to see the barrel tilt. Look, even the recoil spring is actuating up here. I like how the irons are still included for us. So we get to see it tilt. Wow. We're actually seeing... Always love the receiver games. So, as this slide pulls back, we can actually see tension drop from the magazine, too. Coming forward, picking up, loading. That's cool. Like, even just a little bit of action going on here. They went into so much detail. I'm not very familiar with how Glocks work, but that's super interesting what's going on up here. Huh. We have a spectator camera. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Oh my. That's so cool. Can even get to see 
So there, I'm using the slide lock actually working. That's so cool. Oh my, that's a complex one. Look at that spring. Two guide rod recoil springs up there. Those are some big bullets. I'm guessing that's just a counterweight up there. Oh, the rounds even stop. And the bolt rotates to lock. Oh man, it's so cool. Maybe I'm missing something. <laughs> we can actually fan the joystick itself. This is hilarious. I should just take this off completely because I'm going to break it otherwise. <laughs> That's what makes VR good, right? Just little stuff like that. <laughs>